Welcome to the Wyoming State Library Database of the Month, National Geographic Virtual Library. As we move toward travel season and students doing reports, let's check out some of the highlights. This includes Magazine Archive 1888 to the Present, People, Animals, and the World, National Geographic Kids, National Geographic Traveler, Cross Searchable Collection of National Geographic Books, Max maps, images, and videos. Beginning here at GoWild.net, I'm going to select National Geographic Virtual Library. Notice the link right above it is to the National Geographic Kids. Here on the main page you'll see we have a search box and an advanced search option. A selection of highlighted content and if it's something of interest, notice that you can link to Start Exploring. And here you'll find all these content types on that particular topic. Below that, you'll see some spotlight material, including one called Novel Destinations, a travel guide to literary landmarks from Jane Austen's Bath to Ernest Hemingway's Key West. And this ties in with the Wyoming State Library's monthly campaign topic of literary travel. So check that out. Across the top you'll see that we can browse magazines, explore topics, do an image search, check out the term frequency, and for kids. Term frequency is an interesting tool that looks at terms and their use over time. For example, if I input Vietnam and ask it to graph it, it's using all these content types and here's my year range. So I can narrow that range of years if I'd like or decrease some of these items. When we look at our results, it gives me the years and our number of documents. If I hover over each of the dots, it will give me the number and the year. So for example, in 1965, these are my results for Vietnam and the articles featured in those issues. I'm going to try another one and I'm going to put in ecotourism and graph that. And since this is more a current terminology, including these later years where it shows up, the For Kids link just directs you to their National Geographic where they'll find videos, pictures, books, and magazines as well. So let's begin with the search. I'm going to type in World's Fair. Notice that it gives you some auto-suggest. You can turn that off. So here's our results for World's Fair. You'll see our results down the center, View All next to each of the highlighted content types. You can also see how many hits you have for each content there on the left. I can narrow it to National Geographic Magazine, Books, or Traveler, and I can also narrow by subject and publication year. So for example, if I wanted to narrow it to the decade 1930 to 1939, here are the five articles and advertisements for that, that year and in this particular case, it's 1939. I'm going to select the feature article. And notice on the right, it's giving me the relevant pages for World's Fair. So within this issue and in this article, it's telling me what pages I'll find my search terms. I can zoom in here at the top or on the top right, I can expand to full screen. My search terms are highlighted within the article or under the pictures. To get back to my navigation, I can click on reducing the full screen. I can also, when I go back to my search results, I can take my limiters off here at the top under search results and go back to my full number of results.
My next search, I'm going to search Jerusalem. On the left hand side, you'll see how many hits we have for this, including 105, 155 advertisements. There also are map supplements, which would be great when you're doing some traveling or planning some travel. You can scroll down through these content types or use those links on the left. You'll see that you have quite a variety of topics based on just on these book titles. And here we'll find some map supplements. For example, Jerusalem, the Old City. This was published in 1996. Again, we can hover over our zoom in or make it full screen. This map can be bookmarked by copying our URL. You can get citation information in various formats and you can export this using various tools. And you can also email or print. Back here at my search results, I'm going to take a look at the covers. These are great because you can see for example, here's December 1915, 1996, 2008. So let's take a look at this 1915 issue. There's the cover of the old National Geographic. When I scroll through the pages using the arrows, you'll see that I'm getting cover to cover, including the advertisements. That makes it important to use the table of contents link to the left of those arrows and you can go straight to the article that fits your search term. Now let's go to browse magazines. This is really fun because you can see all the covers of National Geographic and National Geographic Traveler. There's only a two or three month embargo on these issues. In addition to great travel information and travel photos, National Geographic is a society that's recognized for education and science. So as we scroll down, you'll see that some of the issues are related to other scientific topics. But in keeping with our travel theme, let's take a look at an issue or two related to traveling places. I'm going to select this one that has under London uncovering the city's buried past. Again, if I use my arrows, I'm going cover to cover. And you'll notice that I do get to see the table of contents. But note that if I put in, for example, page 30, that's page 30. 30 within their table of contents but not within the arrowing through pages because you are getting those early pages of advertisements. So again, using that table of contents to go to my article and you'll see it's actually on page 98 within this. You'll see that these articles are rich with information and of course photographs. Now let's take a look at National Geographic Traveler and I'm going to select this issue, Best Summer Ever, and use the search within this issue instead of on the left the table of contents. So I'm going to search French Alps. And here's the article that includes my search term French Alps within my June July 2017 issue of National Geographic Traveler. Again, it gives me my revel relevant pages on page 88, page 90 and page 96. 
you can use that zoom in feature or again expand into full screen. Once again you'll see that our search terms are highlighted. Now let's take a look at explore topics and I'm going to select travel. Be sure and watch for the view all so you get all of the material pulled together under that topic. Here you'll see the beautiful images and photographs of National Geographic. And you'll get the captions under the photographs as well. Let's take a look at the books. Notice that we have 113 of them. So I'm going to go over here under Subjects and click on View More. If we scroll down, you'll see we, I have a lot of ways to narrow this search. One of them is Travel Literature, which has some interesting books. My Favorite Place on Earth, Celebrated People Share Their Travel Discoveries. Imagined London, a tour of the world's greatest fictional city. There again is that novel destination. I took off my limiter to come back here to my books. And I can add another subject search to narrow by. This time I'm going to select Dutch culture. And let's look at Walking Amsterdam, a walking guide to the city of Amsterdam. This will be handy that you can bookmark this link to come back to this or put within your travel materials or if you're bookmarking to again give with a presentation or something. You can also pop this into your folder if you've signed in up here at the top. You can create your own sign in by adding your email and a password and now that I'm signed in it says Chris and I can pop this into a folder which will be handy when I'm again getting ready to create my travel packet. The next one is a really great one. It's called Image Search and of course with National Geographic you know that's going to be wonderful. I'm going to search Banyan and let's just search Photographs. So what it's giving you is their featured image or I can scroll down and within these articles I'm going to find search results for a photograph of Banyan. So I'm going to select the book Dawn to Dark Photographs and notice here on the right hand side under relevant pages I flip to 191 and there's my picture of Banyan with the caption. and importantly the citation information to go with it if you're using it for an exhibit, a report, or a display. One of my favorites in image search is Marigold's and Aerial Photograph. I love this image because the caption said a field turns from orange to green as harvest, harvesters pick marigold flowers. I just think that's stunning. So let's go up here to the folders now that I'm signed in and I've put items in my folder. I can click on my documents and now I can check them all for example and get citation, print, and email these items. Or keep them here in my folder for later use if I'm adding to it for some bibliographic instruction or for working with kids doing research papers, things like that. So back here at the main page we are looking at archives from 1888, the People, Animals, and the World series under your Explore Topics, National Geographic Kids, and the beautiful images.
I hope you'll find some time to take a look at this incredible resource, whether you're working with kids, working with adults, or planning your own travel. Happy trails!